Another box in the mail from eBay, next on Lead Bullets for Life. Morning, Lead Bullets for Life here. Uh, received a uh, box in the mail today, and uh, it's a box from eBay. And uh, what's in it is another mold. Surprise, surprise. You know how I like my molds. And uh, anyways, this is a Lyman. It's a um, two cavity, and it's a three five eight four two four two mold. Now this one has an acronym at the end called LM. So uh, I've been trying to find uh, a guide for acronyms for the Lyman molds, and I found some information, but very little, if not vague, as far as uh, what they mean. But we're gonna go ahead and open up the box here, take a look at it. All right, it came in a nice little box here. Yeah, it's got your usual uh, packing, and this didn't come in any original box so uh, pay 40 bucks for it and I had an L uh, 358 424 before now I learned something about these molds they'll have the same number but they'll have a different weight to them and um, that was interesting you know you have one that's uh, 90 grain you have one that's 120 grain then you have one here that's called the LM so we're going to go ahead and open it up, find out what this LM is all about. Now I uh, contacted the um, owner and he tells me that he was selling it for a friend. He doesn't know what the LM stands for. But um, I went on some of the forums and uh, there's a few acronyms that uh, they talk about. So here it is, it's the uh, Lyman, oh boy. Here it is. It's it's quite vague. You know, it's well, I fell and dropped everything. <laughs> so it's quite vague because it's uh, really printed kind of light. Uh, it's got number four six uh, four seventy six. Now that number represents a cherry number. Now what the cherry is, it's actually the the cutter that actually cuts these uh, molds to uh, exact size and what I learned was uh, these little acronyms at the end of the numbers here you can see it here I can find it too well yeah there's an LM after it right there um, I found that the L means long S means short E S means extra short U means undersized so you have the six <clears throat> letter acronym I'm sorry, six number acronym, then you have the letter acronym at the end. Of course, the you know the six numbers indicate the size of the mold and the and the type of the mold. The other three numbers at the bottom here, the four, seven, six, it re represent the cherry number. The LM I uh, heard uh, represents uh, the operator that uh, cut this mold out, and it was either a reject of some sort and it was sold at a cheaper price. But uh, information is really big, vague on the uh, uh, on the uh, Lyman website and uh, a lot of the forums that people have owned these molds and uh, talked about the acronyms. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, clean it up, polish it up a little bit, get the, some of the rust off it. It's got a little bit of rust on it from here. You can see a little bit on it. Uh, lighting is pretty bad today. We've got uh, cloudy conditions today. And I got all the lights on and uh, it's... Uh, not as bright as I like it. And uh, we're going to go lo load up some uh, lead in here and uh, go ahead and uh, make some uh, bullets for it. Make some samples anyways. So I'm gonna, anyways, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is a 38-9mm, um, uh, 358, 359. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a 130 grain bullet. And uh, from my past experience from any, you know, any, any rounds that shoot uh, 125 or claim to be 120, or usually 130 grain based on your uh, your lead antinomy. 
Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, lead melting and then uh, we'll cast some bullets and show you uh, weights and measurements. Alright, before we get started uh, with the mold prep, uh, I'm going to show you some of the information I received uh, on the email. And it's um, <clears throat> a forum uh, website that I got and it talks about the, uh, the letter uh, acronyms, the number acronyms, the cherry uh, acronym and the ID number. So this is an ideal mold and here's the diameter of course. This is the cherry number here and then you know 523 ID. Um, a lot of these numbers represented molds that were made before 1925 and after 1945 I believe and uh, some had a uh, 4 to a 5 digit number others had a 6 digit number. So over here talks about the um, Acronyms, uh, for example, let's see if I can zoom in on it. All right, now this here, the L stands for long, S for short, O for oversized, U for undersized, and there have been B, C, uh, V, and X as well. Anyway, reading on this uh, forum, um, I found out that the last two numbers on the acronym were either uh, inspection letters somehow didn't pass inspection and were sold as a second hand type of um, well not like a primary but a, a second I guess that means that it wasn't uh, sold as it was supposed to be made in other words there could have been a um, slight variation in um, the design or the weight you know or the size so uh, what happened was um, my case I have the LM and I'm thinking that LM is a larger uh, mold, LM large mold, meaning that maybe it's an oversized mold. So, um, you know, it doesn't say, you know, O on it, but it says long. So, long mold, it could be a longer, uh, what do you call it, bearing surface. And so, uh, it could weigh a little bit heavier than, uh, you know, what is specified. But again, this doesn't specify the weight on it. It just says LM on it. Now, again, normally it would give you the weight, uh, specifies the weight of the um, mold itself, but in this case it doesn't. So the LM, I'm assuming, is a, uh, well, not assuming, but based on what I'm seeing here and what I've read on other acronyms, that these did not pass inspection for some reason. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and test out this mold, weigh it out, and size it out to see if the uh, LM had any significance in the actual bullets uh, when it comes out of the mold. So we're going to see about that. All right, moving on. All right, let's get the first caches going. The mold's warmed up. Yeah, a couple of rejects. These ones here came out pretty good. Uh, if I can get it in focus here, there we go. Quite good. So far, uh, they're cutting out pretty good bullets. I think it's a lit up a little bit more hot. Got the temperature. Yeah, I'm getting uh, unfilled base on this one here. Hard to say where the cause from. All right, we'll try it one more time. Let's see if uh, bullet number two has a better base on it. No, it's not coming out as good. Okay, so keep on going. Maybe there's some uh, kind of foreign material in there. Or it could be my uh, pouring technique. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put the spout up to it, like so.
All right. Let's see if that works any better. It did actually. All right. We'll try this one too, see how that works out. So the bones came out pretty good. Uh, bottoms are filled out. No noses are nice and shiny and round. No wrinkles. Okay, this one had a little bit of a burr on it. All right, we made about 50 to start off with, and I'm gonna make some other uh, bullets too for a, a different test. Let's go ahead and weigh these out. All right. 130 on the nose. That's about what I suspected. All right, let's go ahead and do some measurements on it. All right. Zero it out here. Okay, let's grab one of these here, uh, and I'll we'll have to do this one-handed, because I don't have a camera person with me. Hmm, 59. So, this mold actually is oversized. And then, of course, you know, oversized is better than undersized. Make another measurement here. Fifty-nine. Let's try it again. That one says fifty-six. All right. Not too easy doing it one-handed. Yeah, it's 59. So they're pretty fat. These are great. 38 special, 9 millimeter, and 130 grain. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, powder coat these, powder coat red. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make about uh, maybe another... Uh, maybe another 50 with the uh, Lee 105 grain. So my wood cutter, and uh, a viewer asked me if lighter bullets and a lower charge uh, could be feasible in a uh, small cartridge like the uh, 38 Smith and Wesson, when 38 uh, a short. And I said, yeah, of course. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and make a couple of samples. I'll use the uh, 105 grain, and I'll probably use the 102 grain round nose as well. You know, just to make comparisons with both light bullets. All right, so right now we're working on some uh, 102 grain round nose for our test here. So far they come out pretty good looking. One wrinkle or two on the nose, but uh, nothing big. Bases are well filled out. And these little molds, you know, I tell you what, these little Lee molds, they're handy to have around, even though I have a lot of uh, Lyman molds, you know, they're a little bit better quality, but, you know, you take care of the, uh, the Lee molds. They, they cut off some pretty good uh, results on uh, bullets. And make a couple more here. After this, I'm going to uh, go and start using the, uh, the 105 grain, some wood cutter. And we'll do a test with those as well, with the uh, 38 special short cases. Make about 50 each for each one of them. Yeah, a little bit of wrinkling, but it's okay for the most part. It's really hard to get uh, lead into these um, small cavities. You really got to really slow down the velocity of the uh, of the pour. Right. 
They're looking good. Bases are filled out. Pretty good. Once we get done, we'll measure it and weigh them out. See how they uh, weigh. Okay, so I finished up the uh, 105 cylinder wood cutters now. I only made 20 of them, and the reason why is because uh, my uh, mold was starting to get all warped. And those uh, bases were getting kind of smeared, so I stopped at 20. So we'll do a test with the uh, 130 grain, 102 grain, and the 105 grain. Uh, I have enough for testing, so we're going to be testing two guns. It's going to be the uh, Smith & Wesson 686-6 and the uh, Rossi. 461 and 357 Magnum. It's Rossi with a 2-inch barrel. All right, I'm going to do some weights on these uh, just freshly powder coated uh, bullets. This is the uh, Lyman 358-424-LM and 132. So the uh, powder coating added a little bit of weight on the lead. Let's just uh, try another one for uh, GP purposes. Hmm, that one's is 128. A little inconsistent there. Alright, so let's get the uh, 102 grainers. And they measure out at 1.3.8, oh, close to 104. Alright, now the 105 grainers. Mmm, 108. Alright, so we finished our. Uh, loading and I made 50 uh, 130 grain uh, 2.4 grains of uh, red dot and next online we have the uh, Lee there we go the Lee 105 grain weighs out to about uh, 108 110 grains uh, also uh, 2.4 grains of uh, red dot and next we have the Lee 102 grain uh, 357 and uh, powder coated red, also with 2.4 grains of uh, red dot. So, um, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to see how accurate these are, uh, being that they're short bearing uh, bullets out of a uh, two inch snub nose revolver. Now, granted, um, these small bullets were not actually designed for long range shooting. We're looking at maybe seven to ten yards at best. You know, they're, they're basically made for, like, uh, close combat uh, type of uh, ammunition. You know, almost like uh, poker playing distance, card table distance. But very effective at close range. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to test these out next weekend. And I'll be using uh, my uh, Smith & Wesson 686 and my uh, Rossi 2-inch barrel uh, 461 and 357 mag. So... Both will be 357. So while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, check the uh, the length. All right. So we got 11, 21 for the 130 grain. Okay. One point two four. 1.25 for the uh, 105 grain and last the 102 grain all right these are small <laughs> hard to get a hold of all right so we're looking at uh, 1.108 all right very good okay so that wraps it up for this um, uh, construction of the uh, 38 Special Short with three different uh, bullet uh, designs. And I want to um, do a shout out to uh, Gun Sam of uh, Revolver Aficionado. I uh, also want to say uh, hello there to PC uh, Bullet Empire. It was Tim's idea that he asked me about the, um, let's see, it said, uh, I would like to go a different route with lighter bullets with minimum speed to see if it's in this case. So, uh, Tim, this is for you as well. Uh, I also want to say uh, howdy there for uh, uh, Foden Moten. Uh, he also replied as well. Uh, Levin Sinchi, you know, uh, didn't forget you too. And uh, though, and Thorzax, Dave from Thorzax also. Thanks, Dave, for uh, sending me a comment. So, uh, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to do the testing of this weekend of uh, the uh, three car cartridges. So, uh, we'll see you then. 
Anyways, rate, subscribe, make comments. We'll see you at the next video. Bye for now. Take care.